Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton and we are in a bit of a different setting today because I just wanted to do a quick video about our current favorites. products are nothing really new I just wanted to do a, a little video telling you about these products because we are using these products a lot lately and we are completely obsessed so I just wanted to spread the love and tell you about them too I'm gonna go with the first product that Hurricane Milton really want to play with right now Milton's just staring at them but these are some new toys that I just found at um, at Winners Home Sense I think in the US you have something similar too but it's those stores that like resell at uh, lower prices other brand items i'm gonna link the brands of these toys below but i just thought they were really cute milton say because this one is crinkly this one has a lot of tug material for for herky herky loves to tug and i just love the color of them they're really like nude and pretty so i thought i would share these oh this one is from patchwork pet and the other one is something a bit bougier hold on hold on it's nan dog pet gear see i told you she really likes it so they really like the uh, the crinkly sound and if your dog doesn't really destroy things like herky and milton i think the something like this would be really cute okay maybe it's a bad idea to give her that toy when i'm trying to film the second thing i want to talk to you guys about is herky and milton's current favorite treats and that is dehydrated beef uh, we have a few different ones i have another one in the car that we like to keep on the go it's always a good idea for you to keep some treats on the go in the car in your purse just for when you go on walks and when you're out and about it's always good to keep okay this was a very bad idea okay mother stop stop your sister is very okay okay mother just to keep reinforcing good behavior Having treats on you is always a good idea. So you remember this bag, it's from the holidays and it's so big that we still have some. Um, but we love to keep give them dehydrated beef. Right now they seem to really, really enjoy it. And we have these, we have dehydrated beef liver from Pure Bites. And we also have these amazing duck treats from Origin that Milton absolutely loves. We had a recent, we had an outing recently and Herky and Milton chose their own treats. Herky chose some beef liver and Milton chose duck treats. So we just like to keep that on hand in the car. Keep them entertained when we go on longer outings just to give them a little thing to snack on. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the balloon hack. And you know that with the arrival of spring, there's a lot of dust and a lot of allergens in the air. So we usually love to use the paws rubber boots and if you missed our hack video you can use balloons as the boots too so i'm going to refer you to that video over there but you basically just take balloons ideally the right size for your pup you snip the top and this can be used exactly as you would the paws rubber boots and even if we live in the suburbs we still like to put boots on them just because there's a lot of dust and allergens and my allergies are so bad right now so i love to keep their paws clean and you would be surprised how dirty your dog's paws can get in the spring even if you live in the suburbs so just for hygienic purposes boots up with your pups we love this hack it's literally a fraction of the price and it works just as well so try this out i highly encourage it the next accessory i want to talk to you about is a walking accessory and you guys know if you've been following us for a while we're big fans of short four feet leashes like that's our go-to and when we go to the airport we like two and a half feet but lately when we go on like bigger parks and bike lanes for hurricane milton we like to use a longer leash and this is an example of our spring collection this is the mint julep leash. It's a five foot leash. And this is much more comfortable when Herc and Milton are in a bigger space. And we know we just have more space. Uh, Herky likes to lead in the front. She likes to waddle. So we love to give her just a bit more space to roam. So we love to use a five foot leash on her and she really seems to enjoy it a lot. So that's what we've been using lately all the time when we go on walks in more spacious 
spaces. So this leash is from the spring line of Kabology, but we also have the rope leashes which come in two and a half feet, four feet, five feet, and six feet. I know a lot of people that live, let's say, in the countryside, they love to have the six foot leashes, which gives them a lot of room between them and their dog. Your dog can roam, can sniff a bit more while being safe. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna link it down below. It's Kabology.com. We have everything that you could dream of for your pup. And speaking of walking, I'm gonna include a dog mom accessory. Call this as you wish. It can be a belt bag, it can be a fanny pack, but I love to use this in the spring and summer just because you don't have a jacket with pockets. So I use, I love to use this just to keep everything you need, like your phone, your sunscreen, your poop bags, everything. This is a great size. I, I have this one in several colors. This one is from Lululemon, but uh, it's great. You can use it around your hips or you can use it as a cross body like this. So I like to keep it like this just because it's less, um, it's less bumpy than on the hips, but you can use it however you want. It's very adjustable. So I love these for spring and summer walks. This is a dog mom essential. And I love that at Lululemon, they do come out with a lot of new seasonal colors. So this was last summer's bag, but I know that in the winter, they had more like black and darker colors. And probably this spring, they have a lot of new different colors. So check that out. It's not terribly expensive either. I think it's about $38 or so. so highly recommend this and some recent favorites that i really like for grooming products i have a fresh batch of new products to show you i've been using this for years but i just got a new refill of the product so i thought it was be it would be pretty to show you but now that spring and summer is coming and that paw baths and lower body baths are much more frequent we love to use a shampoo bar like this just because it's very gentle on the skin it's more economical to use this way they say that it cuts bath time in half it has a lot of lather it rinses easily and it's lick safe so it has very few ingredients in here it's very safe this is made in Canada it has 100% natural ingredients it's just water coconut oil shea butter olive oil castor oil hemp seed oil a bunch of oils and then you have some peppermint essential oil so this is great ingredients and it's just great for pups that have sensitive skin and dry skin too so would highly recommend you checking this out all the legendary canine products this month are 20 percent off on big country raw's website so if you're interested in trying out any of these the code is bones 20 i feel and you can shop on big country raw's website but we've been using these products for a very long time and we're very big fans of it speaking of legendary canine we have two um, stink proof items from them too which I really enjoy especially now that the warmer days are coming and you're probably spending more time outside with your pups they can end up smelling like dogs and I don't know about your dogs but Hurricane Milton they can smell like dogs pretty easily uh, so we love to use this this is a dry shampoo and this is a fresh deodorant uh, spray so if your dog has drier skin I would suggest the spray if your dog doesn't have any sensitive skin or dry skin I would use the powder so this is exactly like dry shampoo for your for you but it's for your dog it's for your dog's coat it really deodorizes your dog's coat this is also lick safe 100% natural and grain free you just shake the desired amount on your dog's coat you massage it in and you give treats after the ingredients are super simple it's just baking soda arrowroot powder and lavender essential oil so it smells great I'm gonna show you on her right now you just sprinkle a bit on the coat like this you massage it in and it really deodorizes the coat exactly like it would your hair so it just gives it a nice fresh scent after you've been outside and if you want to skip baths let's say you're just doing a paw bath you can use this on their coat and they smell instantly better this spray is the same principle but this is eucalyptus lemon lemongrass it's the same principle but this is a dry shampoo and this is a de deodorant spray water vegetable glycerin and essential oils it's eucalyptus lemon lemongrass and lavender so it's a really fine mister I'm sorry, Milton, you don't like it. And it really depends what kind of smells you like too. This is much more citrusy. The other one is more lavender. So if you have a smell preference too, I would go for one or the other. But this, they say, if your dog smells a little funky, fur fresh will get them smelling great again. It's made with 100% natural human grade ingredients because your dog deserves the best. The unique blend of essential oils create a pleasant aroma, fresh lemon notes, and woody undertones to use between baths to keep your dog smelling fresh or to freshen up dog beds too also that's a great hack too you know that when you don't want to clean your dog's beds all the time you can spray this as well it smells just really fresh and nice and it's great to keep the space smelling clean so again all of these products from legendary canine you really really enjoy just to keep your pup smelling clean to keep them safe also it's all great ingredients and if you want to try them out they are on sale this month and last but not least another fave that i wanted to talk to you about is an 
app. And if you follow us on Instagram, you probably have heard of it. It's the Clubhouse app. We have been super active on it lately and we started a few room chats with our good friend Kara, which is Henry's mom. We have chats on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays now. And it's always good to connect with other calf moms and dog moms in the community. We chit chat about dog health, dog grooming, calf care, about Instagram, about uh, social media, and just very casual chats. So we love to connect with other calf moms in the community and we love seeing a lot of people come back with the talk. So if you're interested in finding out more about Clubhouse, you can follow us on Instagram. Find us on Clubhouse also if you are already on the app. Our club is called Cavalier Dog Moms. And yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Hope you enjoyed our little favorites video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos we love you and we'll see you soon bye